How many of you have heard of change history? Okay. So those that haven't, this is a kind of collapse anchors, um, but it's specifically designed for when the negative state goes way back in your life, so years before, maybe teenage years, may even be childhood. And it, it runs pretty much the same as the collapse anchors, except that after you've anchored the negative state in the present, you can hold the negative anchor and ask the client to remember their earliest experience of this feeling. And you'll often do that <coughs> with, with slightly Milton model words. Allow yourself to drift back in time and notice even earlier memories of this particular experience. And you're holding the anchor the whole time. That makes it very easy for people to go back to memories. And that will bring them back to the earliest one and you then carry on as in a normal collapse anchors and you're collapsing the, whatever the strong positive resource is into the earliest memory of the negative state. There's some evidence that that has a beneficial effect. Some people certainly like it as a way of working. So if you come across change history in the books, that's what it is. It's collapse anchors plus this bit of riding the negative anchor back to the earliest memory. Does that make enough sense? You could do that one if you had to.